Like I said, mm. my husband and I, we used to manage it together. And I quit that to start my business, but he's still there. So mm -hmm. I was able to go back. And now, now it's just it's one big family business. <laughs> That's great, though. You never know. You might bring them customers. He might bring you some customers. It all yeah. works together. Uh, so you guys are there from 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 what time to, to, to what time and what, what days? So Monday through Thursday, we'll be there from 3 to 10, occasionally mm -hmm. on Fridays. But I'm trying to dedicate the weekends to doing gigs and festivals, mm -hmm. um, things of that sort. So I'm, I'm leaving my weekends open for that. But Monday through Thursday, I'll be there stationed from – <clears throat> from three to ten monday to thursdays okay dope all right so there you guys go whoever's tuned in in houston y'all make sure <coughs> to stop by speedies it's on it's on a uh, hempstead highway pretty much by the 290 area basically yeah and uh right down the street it's not too far from uh the old Norfolk mall is that, is that mall still running no it's closed, it's still right. closed <coughs> um no it's closed uh, I think the only thing that's keeping it open is like a big antique store, but okay. yeah, no, they're supposed to do that bullet train from Houston to Dallas, and that's supposed to be like the train station. But oh, okay. Who knows? So that's been taking some years with some quick <laughs> construction right there. Yeah. yeah, that's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, it messed a lot of businesses up around the area too. I, I remember going to that uh, Yang Sing buffet when I was a kid. Oh, that's you, know, but, you remember yeah. that? I passed by the other day. I, I, well, I went to Tia Maria's right there, right? Yeah. And I was like, all right, well, man, I, I really miss going to this Chinese buffet. Let me see if that lady still works there. And I pulled up, and I, it was it was gone. <laughs> yeah. Was like, wow. Um, they raised the taxes so high there just so that they could build the bullet train. But crazy. if they, I think they are still going to continue. I think it's just postponed because of COVID. But if they do, I mean, it's going to be brand new development. I mean, it's going to go up. It's going to go back up. Yeah, because they're already starting to build, like, these huge condos and townhomes nearby. And, um, yeah, it's going it, it's gonna to be um, brand new mm. development pretty soon. That's dope. So the Northwest is mm. going to be popping. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, the perfect rack over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Did you ever go to perfect rack back then? <laughs> No. No. Um, yeah, that boy said Gyro Mo. This guy's crazy. Big Cree. Shout out Big Cree, 21st century San Antonio. Um, but yeah, man, it was it, you know it was dope having you on here talking about some of this stuff. I, f I feel like it's good to uh, you know talk about more entrepreneur subjects. Get as many as we can on here and uh, My baby. get everyone to tell their story. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, baby. Yeah, can 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 you share your uh, social media with everyone? Your website, if you have one. Yes, yeah, so um, you can find me on all platforms. Trap Sauce Mix. That's the the brand with the with the chamoy and the micheladas. And then I have my personal Instagram, which is Angie Trap Queen. <clears throat> I'm also man. I got a bunch of different yeah. <laughs> social medias. Um. But for the most part, Trap Sauce Mix is on TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. Um, my personal Instagram is Angie Trap Queen. I also have the the marketing uh, for promotions, which is uh, Trap Sauce Marketing. And then um, I also uh, doing like a food blogger series. So HTX Foodie Queen is another Instagram page where I showcase some of the best businesses um in houston that serve like bomb ass food really good food yeah. food trucks and little hole in the wall spots some of my favorite places yeah I, I always see your pictures with food and i'm like oh my god that looks so good i'm a foodie i love i love to eat mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah and they have good presentation too so that's the good thing yeah that's what's up this is the hot seat for those that don't know uh make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, I am also on Facebook. Um, you look up Mo Hustle, that's M-O Hustle, and on Instagram, at The Real Mo Hustle. Uh, much love to everybody tuned in. We're about to interview someone else right now within about another 30 minutes. I'm gonna keep it rolling. 
Probably going to go all night. <laughs> but I appreciate you for stopping by. Much Thank love. Thank you. Thank you for and, having you know, me, allowing me to talk and speak. Um, it was pretty cool. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're definitely going to get you on here again. This is just the beginning. And, uh, you know, I wish you guys much success. And much much love to your brother, man. Good dude. He's always showed love. Uh, and the whole team over there. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank yeah. You. you already know you got a home right here with our podcast. Whenever you want to mention any of the new stuff you got going. For sure. And maybe I'll be going to one of your festivals pretty soon. So. For sure. For sure. I think this year, like, I went through a lot of battles with, with that stuff this last year. I took hella beatings. You know what I mean? It's, but, it's so. not. It's It's hard. It is. Trying to pull an event to get the people to come out and spend their money. Yeah, yeah you got to. It's, yeah, props for well, you know we have we have good ones and we have bad ones and it's just like a roller coaster it's just like any other business but you know and then it's always timing or or it's uh people you know other events going on in the area houston's a big city so we have so much going on in the city yeah but you know all we could do is roll with the punches no matter what happens and, and like you say just you know keep moving keep it pushing and and that's you know some people don't have that thick skin to survive some of that stuff, you know, so that's why, you know, that, that's why I had to bring up, you know, in conversation with you uh, about some of the stuff that you've had to go through owning a business. You know what I mean? It's real. It's real tough out there. Yeah, it, it's real. Not every, this, ain't, this ain't for everybody. It really isn't. I think everybody should become an entrepreneur, but not everybody can do it. So. And uh, definitely, if you if you do want to become an entrepreneur, do something that you love, you know. Yeah, for sure. And I, and I can tell that you love doing the candy and the micheladas and all that stuff. I do. I just love, I love impacting people. I love serving the community. And I just, to be able to give a piece of my product and seeing people's face light up, you know, I don't do just a little bullshit, boo-boo as michelada, like, I have a, a beautiful presentation of it. You know, I do my double cups. I still represent the Houston culture. And I'm not trying to, um, <clears throat> what did somebody told me that I, oh, what I'm glamorizing lean. Oh, they're going to say that, though. They're going to they're gonna say that. But, you and, know, look, let me tell you something. In Atlanta, there's a restaurant right now. I don't know if you heard of it. It's called the Slutty Vegan. What do you think about that name? The Slutty Vegan. I would go there. <laughs> millionaires, millionaires, you know, but if you put something like that in Houston, they're going to trip out. They're going to slander your name, you know, but Atlanta can do it while we can. If if Cali can do stuff like that while we can, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know, but yeah, you know, it is the culture at the end of the day, you know, uh, you know, it's H-Town, so we're going to rock with it. And, you know, I love it. And I feel like it stands out. And I was going to tell you too, uh, uh, you know, I'm loving the skits that y'all do. <laughs> I'll see if I'm still with the with the yeah. hair. <laughs> yeah, I love the skits, so you gotta keep doing those for sure.